All right, here we go. Time to learn how to fly. Everything's set up for us. <laughs> Sick. Finally. We we're finally going to be able to actually move around pretty quickly. Super keen for this. Oh, true. It was, it was night time. Now it should work, though. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Oh, God. <laughs> up! There we go. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Here we go. Good. Now. For your first lesson, oh, fly nice. through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them ah. returned in one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yes. Oh, this is pretty cool. Good. And lean. It's not that hard to control either. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! Oh, nice! <laughs> Hello! Oh, it feels so nice smooth. Day for a flight. Ha! Good. I've got this. And I like that you, you can actually use both thumbsticks oh, to house. move as well. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oh, this is so sick. I'm assuming we can upgrade the brooms and their characteristics and things as well, right? And how fast they go. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> This is nice. Like the circles are far enough apart that it doesn't really become too awkward. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? And the broom has a little bit of a not delayed reaction, but it's very smooth. There's no like jolty movements, even if you jolt a little bit with the thumbstick. I see. Say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Okay. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Let's do it, mate. I'm up for a little bit of action. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, 
while we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> Where are you going, mate? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Oh, that was actually pretty close. I wonder Ahead if I can... The, gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. I wonder if I can actually hit anything. So quickly. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Lean forward? Oh, here. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's oh, that's it. Bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. This is so sick. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. We'll do, we'll do. Mate, this is awesome. Dismount here. So smooth. <laughs> and where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough! Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Cool. So do we have to buy a broom now? Sorry or? about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Oh, okay. Take a trip to Hogsmeade. We might be able to grab our own broom. Completed main quest. Oh, so close to 16. Then we can start investing in a few more points after that. But for now... Is there anything else we have to do for this quest? It said six out of six. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells. So Ooh. please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. I've not forgotten about our nice. library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Illicit spell practice? Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh, nice. We're getting a... Please oh, meet me goodness. in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Oh, wow. We just got so many different missions and things. Also, there's one thing I would like to make aware of. I kept asking how you could actually change the, the transmog of the items. And it's actually pretty simple. You just go over the item and click X. I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but here are all the options that we have based on all the things we've unlocked so far. 
these are the different collections. So if I click on this, Dark Arts Glove. I'm not sure what the difference is between collections and other though. Oh, okay, I get it. Collections is going to be like a, uh, like a set. Like you get the gloves that match the pants, that match the robe and everything like that, you know? Like there's going to be probably one for Gryffindor. Or maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, I think that's what collections means. For now, I'm probably just going to pick what I like. Because it doesn't matter if I change this glove, right? It's still going to keep my, my transmog. Oh, it doesn't keep the transmog. Oh, the transmog maybe gets applied. I think the yeah, the transmog gets applied to the glove itself. So if we do change gloves, we're going to have to change the, the transmog again. It's not the end of the world. We'll put these on. Then we go back. Yeah, so we are going to have to change this appearance again. I think I like these ones. Yeah, these look pretty cool. We'll go with that. I actually don't mind how we're looking right now, so I think we'll we'll keep everything the same. I'm sorry about my face covering the defense and offense stats as well. If you want to see it, I'll just pop it down. There you go, 694, 94. Um, but if I lower my head a little bit too much on the recording, then it sort of covers up other messages and things that, that come up in a quest line. So I still think we're going to leave it how it is. Okay, so what quest do we want to do now? Where do we want to take this journey? An, an assignment? We get to Pulso. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maximum endurance potion and use them simultaneously. Oh, the room of requirement. And Confringo. Meet Sebastian. We might do this one, and then we'll do the Shadow in the, of the Undercroft after that. Just because it's got a level 8 requirement. So here we go. Go straight to the map. And we should, we should also get the Hogsmeade probably as soon as we can. Oh, what's this? Oh, that is the Room of Requirement. Huh, okay. So I guess we'll teleport here. Maybe the room of requirement is only accessible with a broom then. Since we just got the broom and then that room showed up on the map. I don't know. I mean, we have to go get a broom first as well from Hogsmeade. But I think for the time being, we'll just continue with the main mission. Up we go. Oh, this is the Astronomy Tower, I think. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Here we go. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. I mean, we didn't actually do anything. It just opened up. <laughs> what is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely Rebellion. by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. 
Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Evanesco? You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, another one of these spells. Evanesco. Blended. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Oh, we should actually use this second slot of of things that we have. So we can put Evanesco... These are, I guess, different types of spells. We'll put this on the bottom one. We'll put this one on the right. And we'll just put this one left, this one up top. We're going to eventually have to get new yellow ones and new purple ones. And when we get to that point, we can exchange the second box out for them. Excellent work. There we go. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I mean, we already got so much Moonstone in the in the wild. Where but, in okay. Merlin's name is that elf? Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Revelio. Alright, show me everything. Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Oh, here we go. Get rid of this. What is this? Akio. Oh. Maybe now I can crawl underneath? Revelio. Huh, I wonder what's here. Oh, how do we get up there then? Oh, I get it. Okay, hang on. Maybe I pushed it out too far now. Akio. If I pull it up, make it sit on its side, maybe I can jump onto it? Oh, damn, okay. I did guess I didn't pull it up far enough. Let's see if this works. Oh, yes, it actually still counted. Unidentified back item. Why is it unidentified? I've never got something like that before. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Oh, cool. Wow, I did not expect this game to have some sort of identification system. Hope Very this isn't strange. As precarious as it looks. Oh, inventory is probably going to fill up again. Bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky though. <laughs> Rebellion. There is something way up the top there. Not sure how I would even get that though. Oh, 
Revelio. It's over there. Huh. I don't know. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Revelio. Was that a golden snitch? A golden snitch, really? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> oh, hang on. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Maybe I have to do that to get through? A little bit confusing. How would I get this chest? Oh, I can pull it towards me, maybe. Now, because I pulled the other one to the side. Accio. Oh, it, yeah, there we go. It lit up for a second there. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Alright. Oh, it's a fast travel point. Nice. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing nice one should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. How practical. We need that right now. It's a majestic school robe. That's what we've identified. Judging by that red arrow, I'm guessing it's not an upgrade. 
But we can have a look at it nonetheless. So this one? No. This is the one. Oh, the Necromantic Protection. Decreased damage taken from Inferi. So it's already got a trait on it. I wonder how when I can put my own traits on these items. Huh. Oh, you can upgrade them. Look, upgrades. Zero out of three. Oh, so you can't... I, I don't know why I didn't notice that before, but you can actually upgrade these items. Cool. The one that I've got equipped is still better. So, actually, how many... Oh, we've got 20 out of 20. We'll, we've backed up again. <laughs> Damn. Gear slot's full. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Cool, so we got our own personal area here. So assign new spells. Oh, this one. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay. So we'll put it on that. What do we want to conjure? Statues, decorations, room of requirement, artwork, wall hangings, utility. Probably in here. Def oh, desk of description. We've already got that. Potting table with a small pot. Huh. Purchased from tombs and scrolls. A five. We're growing three plants requiring a small pot. Five plants requiring small pots. Wow. Okay. Small pot. I guess we'll build this one. How do we rotate? Like that. Alright, you know what? Let's put it over here. That seems good. We also needed to craft a potions table. So scientific, botanical, electic, and gothic. We'll go for one of these first. I guess we'll put this one over here. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. 
Cool. So if I want to move this again... Oh yes, there was 16 and a talent point. I wonder how I move this again. I don't know. <laughs> Small plant. Okay, I guess we use it. We'll do this one as well. A Juris Potion. Ashwinder Eggs and a Mongrel Fur. We'll do this one. Only 15 seconds, wow. So this is I'm a side ready for quest, the next then. lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I think I've got enough. We got like 90 something, don't we? I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. I mean, we saw that before. We've got rugs, decorations, seasonal decorations. We could have a rug. What do we want? We'll go with this one, maybe. Try and put it as central as we possibly can. There we go. Oh, we have to decorate a lot, actually. Okay. Let's go over here. We should be able to put it underneath things, shouldn't we? Yeah. Let's just put it in the corner. Alright, we've done a rug. Let's do a statue. Maybe like a lamp? Just over here, next to the tape. I can't go there. Hmm. Let's put it over here then. Wow, it's very specific with where we can put it, hey? Maybe go for one of these. So what do we... Is that it? Like... How much do we actually have to... Do? Oh, here. Punch of floor decorations, four out of five. Wall decorations... Okay, so we just gotta keep doing... Keep doing the decorations. Until it finishes, we'll go... Statue. Oh, cool. Put this one over here, maybe. Don't think I'm going to be decorating that much, to be honest. Go for this one. Oh, you can change the size. Look at this. <laughs> there we go. What else can we put on the walls? Some mirrors. Put some of these up here. Alright, that's enough. Yes, move on. This is not really my thing, to be honest. <laughs> I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. 
Oh, another spell. Really? Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Alright, we'll go for this one then. Put it here. Oh, wow. That's not what I was aiming at, but it's fine. Size. It doesn't need to be that big, but whatever. <laughs> All right, we'll change the color of this. Actually, the floor? Oh, we can't. I'm not aiming at that, though. I'm aiming at that. Change the color now. All right, can we change the color of this? Not that. Oh, here, change color. We'll get black. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Is that black? You can use the altering spell directly okay. on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or the Here we go. I think I like this one. Botanical Central. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Natural and earthy, the best room in a dark and mysterious. I think we go natural and earthy. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Keeps adding more and more. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay, interior decorating complete. Five out of six. So what's the plan now? I guess we do one of these other quests that we have. Right, I think we actually have a few. In the Shadow of the Undercroft, that's right. That's the one I wanted to do. Acquire a Focus Potion and acquire Maxima and Endurance Potions. So a Maxima Potion, I guess we'll have to go to our, like this thing here. Purchase from J. Pippin's Potions. Oh, we have to purchase, like, the blueprint for it before we can even start to, uh... 
start to make one. And for this one, we need Ashwinder eggs and Mongol fur as well. We can probably buy all this stuff from that J. Pippin's shop. So we'll need that if we want to continue with that sort of side quest line. But I think for now, we're just going to go to the Shadow of the Undercroft and see what Sebastian wants. Probably find Sebastian in his unusual spot near the defense against the Dark Arts classroom. Okay.